Weldon Spring, U.S. Senator Josh Hawley on Thursday decried the federal government's negligence that allowed radioactive waste to sicken St. Louis area residents for decades and invited Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm to visit the community still suffering from the legacy of the atomic bomb. You all have had enough of it, Hawley said. I've had enough of it. It's time to put a stop to this. But even as he joined activists and a bipartisan coalition of state officials calling for federal action, Hawley faced questions about his own environmental track record during his two years as Missouri's attorney general. And activists said they have had no luck getting a meeting to discuss the issue with the current attorney general, Andrew Bailey. Bailey's office said earlier in the day that it will work to hold the federal government accountable. Speaking at a news conference in Weldon Spring attended by Republican and Democratic elected officials, Hawley addressed the findings of a six-month joint investigation by the Missouri Independent, Muckrock and the Associated Press that revealed that for decades government agencies and private companies downplayed or failed to fully investigate radioactive contamination stemming from the effort to build the first atomic bomb during World War II. We're here because for 75 years, the federal government has poisoned the water, the soil and the air of this community and has lied about it, Hawley said. The issue has been covered extensively by journalists over the years, but a trove of previously unreleased documents obtained through the Freedom of Information Act and reviewed by the three newsrooms laid bare decades of failure that allowed radioactive waste created during the 1940s to linger in the St. Louis region 80 years later.